I'm just... This is not right. That's much better. Okay, today on Jitter Hospital, this is what happened. Once again, today should have been a Friday's episode because so much happened, but one thing in particular that we really hate. Is this the last we'll see of Valentine? This might be the end. Guess I just want to prepare you. I mean, we're not going to kill Valentine off like they did Brando. Mm. Still don't think this is right. Okay. They caught Valentine. Valentine's with Victor. He's like, oh, perfect timing. And I'm not good at his accent, but I'm going to weigh Barrett's accent. Uh, that's right, Colt. Anyway, um, they talk, and Victor's like, so Valentine says, we am a, you need a human subject to test out the antidote. And Victor says, well, that's what you're here for. And that actually happens today. That's why I'm worried we're going to take, get Valentine off. We're going to take Valentine off. I'm worried about that. Uh, Robert is trying to avoid Elizabeth from getting into Anna's room where they chlore, where Holly chlore from Scott. And he's on the bed saying, oh, oh, don't take that from me. Oh. He also snored. So he's a very bad sleeper. So if he was a little lethal, I don't know how lethal it is. Okay, Elizabeth's like, I, sorry, Elizabeth says, I got to check on Anna. I need to go in there. Robert, what is going on? So Robert said, Ugh, listen, you can't go in there. She doesn't want any visitors. And Elizabeth's like, well, I'm talking too fast. Elizabeth says, well, I need to go check on Anna anyway. And Robert's like, well, she's asleep. And Elizabeth says, no, I'll try my best not to wake her up. She come, tries to come in, and Robert says, no, 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 you can't go in. Elizabeth's like, what is going on? Like, why do you not want me in there? Here comes a agent, and I'll tell you about that, because Skull wakes up. He's trying to get the phone, but it's unplugged. He notices that it's unplugged. And he's like, darn you people. And so he calls the WSB. Scott says, in an exclamation point, he's like, listen, I need you to the WSB right now. Robert, pull for these si free cycles. Pull from me. I need you at the hospital and Anna, the bank's room right now. Okay, that's what I meant by the WSB agent. He comes and he says to Robert and Elizabeth, WSB agent, somebody call me. I need to go in. And he just walks straight in. So Robert's like, wait, what the heck? And Elizabeth notices Scott. And she's like, what, Robert? Is this why you didn't want me in here? Remember, Elizabeth and Scott used to be family. Like it through marriage. Wait, Mom, did Elizabeth and Franco ever had a wedding or get got married? Oh, man. Because that would make Elizabeth's father, Scott, in law. That's why I said they were family. So, and Scott's like, listen, uh, Holly's sudden floor for me, and Anna's gone somewhere to an agent or something. I don't know where she's going. So Robert's like, Scott, you don't understand what you just did. You are just about to kill Lisa and three other hostages. Plus four other people. I'm going to say Curtis, Drew, Laura, and Valentin. He's probably about to die anyway, but I'll mention that in a little bit. Oh, sorry. One thing for sure. I don't even remember if I finished that or not. Because the WSB agent might blow up, blow up the island that Victor is in and everybody else at Greenland. I think that might. That might be what happened. Elise was on the island. Three other people, four other people, so many guards, and Victor Cassidy, the one only. So, 
Joss and Dax made each other, and they hugged, kissed. They did it again. They kept running. Joss and Dax cannot run into each other without doing it. It is impossible. Um, you know, they did. They talked about Sonny, Michael Mills' wedding, the SEC, and taking Carly in. How Sonny stopped the SEC from tracking Drew down to put him in jail, too. But they were in jail. Um, and all this. Speaking of Michael and Willow. Ooh, I don't know if you're ready for this. Here's something funny, though, to cheer your mood up for later. Michael said he's going to uh, go fill a vase full of flowers with water. Then it goes back to the next scene where Michael's walking down from, a di from upstairs and we see the vase and there's no water. He, Michael said he was going to put water in the vase so that the flowers would stay warm and fresh. Maybe even cold because water might be cold anyway. There's no water. We accidentally catch a clip. There's no water in my vase. Sorry, I said that multiple times. It's just, I don't get it. Did Michael forget to fill up the vase? Um, Willow said to Michael, listen, I want to talk about Sonny. How many people love you at the wedding? Michael's like, almost everybody. And Willow's like, well, how many people love Sonny at the wedding? Michael's like, well... Almost all, like most of them. So Willow says, well, how many people love you and Sonny combined? Michael was like, a lot, a lot of people, like everybody. So Willow was like, listen, when I die, if something bad happens to me, and Michael says, no, it won't happen. Willow interrupts Michael and says, listen, if something bad happens to me or I die, I need, I don't want to leave a family hanging with, Michael, listen to this. You and Sonny having a not fixed bond. I'm not, I want you and Sonny to try to reunite, like do something, to like have a better relationship. I don't want you to get back together. It doesn't make sense, Michael, why you would like, not like Sonny or how would you, or how would you hate him so much? Michael said, I got video footage, and I have a reason not to like Sonny. Well, like, well, show me. Michael is like, well, since we married, I can't keep this from you anymore. Michael shows Willow a video. We didn't get to see Michael show Willow, but we got to see Michael pull out his phone or camera and sh show Willow all the footage of Sonny, Brick, Pipeman, Dex, all of a cargo and all of his pipe men deal. So everything. And Willow's like, oh, uh, wh why would he do this? And Michael said, well, this is why we don't talk about his business. Or business. See, this is what he does. And me and Dex, listen, Dex does not work for Sonny. Dex Heller works for me. I hired him to take down Sonny, and we almost took him down. Dante, Christina, they'll be better off without him. Everybody will be safe. I was like, how? Oh. <sighs> Will just faint. And Michael's like, Will! Will! What if Will dies? What if Michael just killed Willow? Which would not make any sense at all. But I'm telling you. Last thing. This is where you got to prepare yourself. You gotta prepare yourself for Valentine. They show Lisa in a uh, like nurse's suit when somebody's about to get pregnant, like kind of. So she's in that type of nurse suit. She goes in and she has an antidote, like that needle. <laughs> and Victor and the guards are watching. So Lisa says from the window, Victor, this is your son. You sure about this? Victor says, is not my son anymore, not anymore. Oh my God! I mean, I'm, I'm not surprised Victor Cassidyne, but one and only would say that. So before Liesl could leave, Victor said, no, if you want to save your great niece Willow, Ca Willow Tate, or Willow Corinthos now, that's not really what Victor said, but anyway, Victor says, listen, you have to watch Valentine. And Valentine's like, 
How long till I die, Victor? Victor says, uh, what would I say? You might need a tissue. Yes, Valentine has a nosebleed and almost passes out. Everybody pray for Valentine Cassidyne. <laughs> if, if there's anything else I forgot, let me know in the comment section below. Today's a very big and sad episode. Thanks for watching my video. Also, send a like. And I'm hoping you're enjoying the ride.